Welcome to this webcast. My name is Artemis Artemiu and I am SQL Server MVP. This presentation is about Microsoft SQL Server 2008 programmability and more specifically on T-SQL enhancements. The agenda of this presentation includes talking about simple but useful features in SQL Server 2008, large UDTs, the new data types, date, time, and date time 2, along with the new and enhanced functions using date time 2 precision, table value constructors, also known as row constructors, table types and table value parameters, that is TVPs, the merge statement, grouping sets, object dependencies, the hierarchy ID data type, DDL trigger enhancements, and correlation alignment with Windows. So one of the simple yet useful features in SQL Server 2008 is that you can declare and initialize variables within the same line of code. The old way of doing that it was to declare the variables in a different line of code and then in another line of code set the values for each variable. The new way allows us to declare and initialize variables within the same uh, line of code as we see on the screen. Also, we can now use compound assignment operators that is, we can increment, uh, uh, subtract, multiply, divide, and modulo variables. In SQL Server 2005, UDTs and UDAs were limited to 8K of static data. This changed in SQL Server 2008 we are, we are allowed to use large UDTs with size up to 2 gigabytes. A UDT size is defined by the attribute SQL user defined type attribute dot max byte size as part of the types definition. Examples of large UDTs in SQL Server 2008 are the geometry and geography, which are used for spatial data, and hierarchy ID. All these are CLR data types. Now we also have the date and time new data types where we can use the date for just getting the date and time for just the time. I'm sure that we all had in the past the problem of parsing and date time string in order to perform the necessary computations for uh, extracting the value for just date or time. Now it is much easier with, the, with these two new uh, data types because you can cast the date time string to a date or a time. Another new data type in SQL Server 2008 is date time 2. This data type supports larger date and time ranges. The, the old date time data type supported date range from uh, 1753 to 1999, and time range uh, had a precision of milliseconds. Date time 2 supports the date range from 1 AD to 99.99 and it has time precision up to nanoseconds. As we can see on the code example below on the screen, if we try to cast or convert a date string with uh, a date below 1753 in uh, the date time, that, that type we will get an error. Though if we try to convert the same date string to date time 2, our conversion will be successful. Similarly, if we try to cast 
a daytime string with nanoseconds to daytime, this will result to an error. If we try the same with daytime 2, it will be successful. SQL Server 2008 contains some new and enhanced functions supporting daytime 2 precision. So we have the sys daytime, sys UTC daytime, and sys daytime offset, which return the daytime with daytime 2 precision. We also have the switch offset, which adjusts an input daytime offset value to a specified time zone while preserving the UTC value. And we have the to daytime offset function as well, which even though it, 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 might, it might look a little bit similar to the switch offset function, is different. First of all, it is not restricted to a daytime offset value as an input. Rather, it accepts any date and time data type. Also, it does not try to adjust the time based on the time zone difference between the source value and the specified time zone, but instead simply returns the input date and time value with the specified time zone as a date time offset. The main purpose of the to date time offset function is to convert types that are not time zone aware to date time offset by the given time zone offset. Let's jump to our first demo and see what we just said in action. I'm going to use the AdventureWorks sample database for these demos. So this is the traditional way of declaring and initializing variables. We can see the result in the output window. And we can also see that using the enhanced new way with less code, we can achieve the same result. Also, we can compare the two ways using operators. So here I have a variable of uh, type integer. I initialize the variable with a value of 10, and then I increase, I increase its value by 10. So I needed separate lines of code for doing that using the old way. Now with the new way, I can declare and initialize the variable within the same line of code, and with just one single command using compound assignment operator, I can increase its value by 10. Let's execute this to see the output. And again, it's 20. The last example for this demo is the usage of date time, date time 2 data types along with the new date uh, functions. So, if I just want to get a date or time, I just cast the, date, the current date time value to a date or time respectively. And you can see now, by executing this, we get the date and time in two separate values. Also now, let's compare date time with date time two. If we try to convert this date, which is earlier than uh, 1753 with date time delta type, we will get an error. If we try to do the same using date time 2, you can see that it is successfully converted. Similarly, in order to compare the time precision for between date time and date time 2,